Hey, today we're taking a look at my specialised demo 2010. Got an old bike. I uh, got sick of riding it downhill, got sick of pedalling, so I had to add some motors. So we got four Flip Sky motors, 5.5 kilowatts each, chain drive, um, completely eliminated the pedals, added some sewer on foot pegs, all functional. Um, we've got uh, 11, 11 amp hour, 12 S. Uh, LiPo battery setup, two Flipsky ESCs, uh, dual FS ESCs, running uh, I think it's 5.2 firmware because they said 5.3 makes it explode, so we don't want that. The Flipsky actually said that. Anyway, um, it's all chain drive. We got ANSI 25 chains here. We got 219 go kart chain. We've got ANSI 35 chains to the rear end. Now for chain tensioning, we've got a mechanism here, somewhat of a mechanical computer. There's a linkage on the other side to transfer that as the uh, swing arm swings through its travel, this mechanism keeps the chain nice and tight. So I'll show you the linkage of that. So this is the linkage here. So all this geometry is set up so that as the suspension travels, it keeps that chain tensioned like that. So it's relatively simple, there's not really a lot to it, um, but it's pretty amazing to ride. Uh, it's kind of like riding a 250F, it weighs 30 kilograms, it's really light, pushing over 20 horsepower. Um, definitely on pavement, you can't touch full throttle, it will throw you off the back. Um, but we'll take it for a ride in some snow and I can hit full throttle in the snow you can hear it scream So the first step in uh, designing this machine was to get my buddies at Infamous Aero in Calgary uh, to scan the frame. So they sprayed a coating on it and then we used their sophisticated 3D laser scanner to get a fairly accurate 3D representation of the frame. Um, imported that into SolidWorks. So after we laser, laser scanned the frame, we imported it into SolidWorks. It's quite a nice model, it did a really nice job there's a few odd artifacts here and there where we didn't quite get all the data these uh, from the interpolation, I suppose. So stitched that together, got a nice model here. So then we started designing. So here's the, the model of the bike, the assembly. Um, so like this, this is the bash guard, which I haven't built yet. So as you can see here, we got three motors on this side and they're staggered left to right through here and then we've got one little guy under here we've got a jack shaft it all drives under here the drive comes off the jack shaft to this end to a 290 oh, these are ANSI 25 chains these little guys this is 219 go-kart chain back to here then we've got another idler here oh, not idler or sprocket there it transfers drive onto the ANSI, ANSI 35 chain and then to the rear end. And I've machined up a custom hub which slips over the existing hub you know, just to get the spoke radius out bigger so that snap the spokes. I've got this idler here. Um, transfer just to take the chain down and keep it away from the swing arm. So getting the chain to work with the suspension was difficult. Uh, this this line here uh, represents the chain uh, pitch line here, as you can see through there. These lines here represent the suspension geometry, uh, the suspension linkages. So that line there represents the swing arm, 
and then we've got this fancy mechanical computer thing. And I'll show you how it works. It, what it does, it keeps the chain tension nice and tight as the swing arm travels up and down. So let's take a look at that. Um, this is a sketch here. This is my idler. These lines here represent the geometry of that linkage. And then we can, we can travel. As you can see, this little idler here is pulled up by this linkage and it keeps that chain nice and tight like that so was, and you can see the suspension linkage is all working as they as they should so once we get that figured out you can see this this linkage there is that and then these pivots are on these bearings here there's an idle here an idle there and they're just uh, bearings press fitted into the inside of the idler with the uh, Loctite 638 so that's that uh, let's take a look at the drive system on its own so this is clamped to the frame um, 3m DP 420 uh, glues there's no welding or anything this is just glued clamped and glued to the frame um, so these these here these bosses screwed into the existing uh, cartridge threaded holes in the frame and the this basically fixed axle here just jams in there and bolts do it up so that's that um, to tension the chains we've got slotted holes in here so that tension these there's another slotted hole on this side that allows you to tension this chain and then to tension this chain it's got uh, rotational slotted holes there so it pivots about this bolt so you just crack the bolts and then you can swing it out to tension the main chain you just uh, change the length of this linkage here change that length get tension in that chain so ESC mounts up there let's have a look at the stress analysis I did uh, most of the parts have been uh, had some sort of FEA finite element analysis done on them so we've got stress we've got here's all the loads I've applied for chain tension like that stress is all 25 MPA which is fine for aluminium um, what I was most worried about was deflection it's generally deflection that causes problems rather than stress and things like this uh, we got a maximum of 0.22 millimeters of deflection there and that's it